Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is me, Catherine, your English teacher again, and um, I hope you guys are doing great. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button below to get notifications of my next videos. Our monthly living expense, all right? Um, yes, uh, the earning or the salary here might be high, but you, sh you also have to know that <laughs> the living expense is also high, okay? How high? Well, I guess our living expense are really, or our salary really de depends on the living expense that we have. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I can say that the salary which I have been receiving here is actually just good enough to you know spend for the living expense or to use for our living expense here and to just enjoy a little bit we save a little bit <laughs> so many of us guys or many of you guys might be wondering how much is the living cost really here in france okay i mean uh, probably it's the same in europe i mean all the places in europe but I'm going to share about the living expense, the living expense. I'm going to share about the living expense here in France, okay? As an English teacher and as a mother, as a wife with two kids and a husband, okay? <laughs> okay, so how much really is the living costs? So I'm going to tell you guys. So part of our living expense here is actually the first one is electricity. So for electricity, if you want to know or if you want to ask how much, for our electricity, guys, we actually pay 170 euros monthly. So this is for electricity bill. The electricity bill is actually 170 euros per month. So how much is that in peso? Well, I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> so I hope you guys going to search or you're gonna check how much really it is if you want to know the equivalent in your own currency okay so we pay 170 euros for our electricity bill every month all right so that's the first living expense or that is the first thing for our living expense okay and the next one number two is actually the internet because as you may know I have YouTube and I have things to do. Well, anyway, here in France, uh, it's very common for people to have internet at home. Okay, so in our case, we pay our we pay for our subscription monthly. Okay, so how much do we pay? Do you think? Well, we actually pay thirty five euros monthly. Okay, we pay. 35 euros monthly for our internet so you can add it now so electricity bill 170 plus 35 the internet how much is that now <laughs> okay and the next one is the water okay so for the water the bill is also separate okay we have a separate bill for our water so for the water how much do we pay in Philippines? I guess in Philippines, when I was in Philippines uh, monthly, I had to pay for like 300 peso. That was the amount that I used to pay when I was in Philippines with my kids. Uh, actually, I had one kid that time, but we were four in the house. So we actually paid like 300 peso a month. But look, how much is it here? Here, we actually pay for our water bill 40 euros a month okay 40 euros a month how much is that in peso what is next <laughs> can you guess the next bill <laughs> well the next one is our grocery of course you know every one of us has grocery maybe some of us you know do our grocery shopping weekly monthly or even daily all right but in today's video i'm going to share to you our weekly and monthly grocery expense 
All right. So for our grocery expense, we actually spend, uh, for example, for one week or weekly, we spend like 100 to 150 euros. Okay. 100 to 150 euros. If it's 100, that means to say, how much is that in Philippine peso? Maybe 6,000. That's weekly. Okay. So we spend like 6,000 to 7,000 in Philippine peso. So anyway, in euros, we spend 100 to 150 euros weekly so that means every month we have so in one month there are four weeks right so in one month we actually spend um 600 to 700 euros monthly guys okay monthly <laughs> that is our monthly expense for our grocery okay and what is next our expense doesn't end there we have another expense what is next the next one, of course, is our tax, guys. We have tax, okay? So even if you are a foreigner here or anyone who lives here in France, everybody has to pay tax, okay? How much is the tax? Well, there are two categories, actually, okay? So if you are single, you will be paying a different tax. And if you're married, you will be paying a different tax. Okay, so let me share to you about the tax for employees who are single. So for employees who are single, actually, um, in the past, here in France, employees had to pay the tax uh, yearly. That means every year. So for example, if you are an employee who is single and you receive, um, for example, 2,000 euros as your monthly salary, so that means to say you also have to pay 2,000 euros a year, okay? So a single employee pays or a single employee who receives 2,000 euros as monthly salary also has to pay 2,000 euros as yearly tax, okay? So that is the contribution for the tax yearly. But of course, nowadays it has changed, okay? So they also do it monthly or they are doing it monthly now, okay? So every month, if that is the case, if you're single and if you receive 2,000 euros a month, so every month you have to pay 150 euros a month, okay? So you receive 2,000 euros as your salary and you remove 150 for your tax maybe 150 euros so you will only have 850 euros as your salary oh no 1850 euros as your salary because uh that's when you receive 2000 euros as your monthly salary okay so that's it so if you are single here in france you also have to pay 150 euros every month as your tax but if you are married that's going to be a different story. If you are married, actually, do you know how much the tax is? Any idea how much? Well, no tax. And that is a great thing about France or about living here in France. Because if you are married and you live here in France, you don't have to pay tax at all. And, of course, that's not the end. It doesn't mean, oh, you don't pay tax. That's great. But, guys, look, what's next? Our baby, okay? Because my husband works, okay? And I also work. Who takes care of my baby? Who? <laughs> well, here, they actually have a kind of, uh, they call that here, uh, assistant maternel. That is actually um, maternal assistance. So in Philippines, we call it like hiring a nanny. Okay, a nanny. So there's a nanny here. We can hire a nanny, but it's actually different from Philippines. Because in Philippines, we can hire a nanny and the nanny comes to our house. Okay, actually stay in, but it's going to be very expensive here. Okay, if you ask the nanny to go to your house, it's very expensive. So commonly, people just actually send their children to the nanny's house okay so we send the child or the baby to the nanny's house every time we leave home before we go to work we drop 
we drop our baby at the nanny's house, okay? And how much do we pay for that every month? Do you know? Any idea? Well, for the nanny, they call it nunu, okay? In French, nanny, they call it nunu, okay? So for the nunu, guys, we actually pay, for example, but anyway, it's not very big because the government actually helps. The government helps on paying for this, okay? So for example, if I pay 400 euros a month, okay, for the nunu, only for example, okay, this is only an approximation, okay? So if I pay 400 euros for the nunu or for the nanny, okay, the government actually shares 300 euros on that, okay? So that means to say I only have to pay 100 euros a month. Okay, so that's it. So the government actually shares 75% if I am correct. Okay, so if I have to pay 400 euros a month, the government pays 300 euros. So I only have to pay 100 euros. When you think of social welfare, it's very nice here because the government really supports a lot to the people. Okay, even if you're a foreigner, as long as you are qualified to have those benefits, you can, okay? So for example, in my case, if I don't have a job, this is, a, this is actually a kind of, how can I say, a kind of, um, how can I say that? Um, of course, it's a benefit. If I don't have a job, okay, and uh, there is a kind of requirement, if I don't have a job, and uh, my in my previous job, the minimum, uh, length of stay in that previ previous job before you can actually uh, apply for this benefit is you must uh, you must have worked there for like um, a minimum of six months okay so for example in my case in that school where I used to work okay but I'm gonna be working again <laughs> so um, actually uh, I worked there for six months, okay? That's why during my summer vacation, my summer vacation is actually unpaid because summer vacation means I am not connected to the, to the school anymore. I'm not employed, okay? Because that work of mine was just a replacement. It was actually temporary. I mean, not really a regular job yet, okay? So because of that six months experience I had there, I'm able to apply for this benefit, okay? So the government also helps the or the unemployed people here, unemployed people here. So unemployed people can also can also receive support from the government. Okay, so that's another um, good thing which you're gonna like living here in France. Now talking about living expense, so that's it. We spend every month as well, we spend for the nanny, for our baby, okay? Because we have a baby, we cannot just leave the baby alone in the house. So we need to spend for the nanny, okay? But anyway, going back to the benefits or how can I say the welfare, which I like here. Well, if you actually have, uh, if you actually have um, children, you can also Get, you can also get support from the government, okay? They call it here uh, La CAF. Actually, the organization is, named, is called CAF. They say La, La means that. So La CAF, okay? We call it La CAF, okay? So you can actually receive from La CAF. This is, this is an organization. This is a, related to government, okay? So <clears throat> they actually um, give support to children as well, okay? For the children below two years old, okay, zero to two years, okay, zero to two years or zero to two year old children, okay, can actually receive 200 euros a month, okay? So anyway, it's good enough, better than nothing, right? So you, we can actually receive 200 euros every month for our little one who is uh, less than two years, okay? So that is only for zero to two year old kid, okay? But if you have another baby who is actually, or if you have another child who is actually two years above, 
he or she can also receive 100 euros a month. So like my daughter, my first daughter is 10 years old now. So she can also receive 100 euros a month. So that's it. So there's actually a lot of uh, good things with the social welfare here in France. I mean, living here in France. Okay. And the next one. Okay. So that's about children. But you know, if a parent, okay, if a parent actually doesn't have a job, okay, and these parents have four children, okay, for example, for example, I am a parent, or yes, I am a parent, and I have four children, and I don't have a job, I can receive 900 euros from the government. That's another good thing about the social welfare here. And then, for mothers, of course, when we give birth, they also give a kind of maternity benefit, okay? So after you give birth, in Philippines, we actually have that uh, maternity benefit as well. We can actually get that from SSS, right? SSS. Here, we can also get that from the government. After you give birth, the government, only if the baby is born here, okay? Not in another place, not in another country, but here in France. To get this maternity benefit, the baby has to be born here, okay? So if the baby is born here, you will receive the maternity benefit, which is actually 900 euros, okay? 900 euros, that is for the maternity benefit, okay? You don't receive every month, only once. When you give birth, you can receive 900 euros as well, all right? So it's nice, isn't it? So that's it, guys, about the living expense here. So let me just have a recap of how much is actually our monthly living expense here, okay? So electricity bill, that is 170 euros. Internet is 35 euros. And we also have water, which is actually 40 euros every month. And grocery, that is actually 600 to 700 euros a month. And we also have the, what, the baby, 100 euros, okay, 100 euros a month. And I guess that's it. So actually the total living expense here, okay, for us in my uh, status, okay, actually I am supposed to pay or we are supposed to pay or to, we are supposed to spend 995 euros a month, okay? But again, I will remove the 300, okay, from the government, okay? So I will just have to pay, uh, I, will, I will just have to pay like 695 euros a month, okay? So not really pay, but I mean, <laughs> I will just have to uh, spend uh, 695 euros a month, okay? So that's it. Well, this expense that I have explained is actually based on the expense that we have here living in France, but with a simple life, okay? When I, when I say simple life, it means uh, it is except the shopping, okay? Because what I talk about grocery, this is just about the food, okay? But for other things we want to buy, clothes or other things that we need, I did not include in this living expense that I have discussed, okay? So... This is how the living expense here in France, guys. So, do you want to live here? <laughs> well, it's your choice, okay? So, anyway, as an English teacher here in France, I really like it here teaching English, except the fact that it's kind of hard to teach, you know, middle school students, especially, um, you know, um, they only use French. So, in my case, I always have to use English in teaching. But anyway, I like it here because... The salary is quite good, okay? And the benefits, there are a lot of good benefits as well. So that's what I like here. But of course, I miss my family. But anyway, when we talk about salary, if you want to know how much the salary I am receiving here as an English teacher, please comment down below. 
and I will be answering that question of yours in my next video. So once again, this is your English teacher in France. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great idea now or a great knowledge about the living expense here.